Crowd Courier. before or after he delivered his dispatch. Right, Sarge. little vacation. With the Major's permission, our orders are to head security for the conference between the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Uh, relax, Sergeant. We can't win the war single-handedly. There's no security problem here. Then how do you explain the fact that we saw a German courier steaming out of this area? Uh, well, that's no reason to jump to the assumption there's been a breach of security. Don't you think it's strange, sir? 24 hours before the conference, we spotted a German courier in this area. What are you driving at, Sergeant? Sir, I think you should postpone this conference. Your orders are to head security for this conference, Sergeant, not dictate policy. Maybe I ought to clear the air. Having you here wasn't my idea. The command seems to feel that while you're refueling here and getting supplies and what have you, it'd be a good idea to have you head security. Something about 
knowing the enemy firsthand. Frankly, I just soon you uh, be on your way. Yes, sir. But while you're here, you'd be wise to tread lightly and not step on anybody's toes. Especially mine. All right, Major. I'll be frank also. Security. That's not our job, but we've been ordered to do it. Even if it means stepping on someone's toes. That a threat, Sergeant? No, sir. Just clearing the air. That'll be all, men. Major, does anyone else know about this conference? Chiefs of staff, British and American. And the pilot that's bringing them in. That's all. That's all. That is all, Sergeant. Sergeant Roberts. Sir? I want you to keep an eye on that Sergeant Troy for me. Let me know what he's up to. I'm not going to have my record blemished by some paranoid sergeant who's bucking for lieutenant's bars. Yes, sir. And, uh, needless to say, don't let this go any further. I understand, sir. How's it going? Uh, let's face it, Sarge. That transmission's almost had it. What about the radiator? I needed a drink, but, uh, who doesn't? Sergeant Troy? Yeah. Oh, hi. I'm Sergeant Roberts. Major Reese asked me to help you guys get billeted. All set. Ready to roll, Sarge. Well, I don't envy you. Going back out in that boiling desert. Keeps us off the street. And when every time the temperature gets over 40, I start to sweat. Just like the Army. They ship you to the desert. Typical snafu. They should have put me in the ski troops. Are you a good skier? Well, every year, I was the first one out at Sun Valley. Of course, all I had to do was walk right out my front door. I was born right there in Nevada. Jeep's ready. What next? Time for a beer? I'd like to find a barber. Well, I better check out the quarters. Come on, I'll show you the way. See you later. Roberts! The Major wants you on the double. Okay, tell him I'll be right there. Think you can find your way? Yeah, just point me in the right direction. Come on. Go right down the alley. When you come out, turn left. About three quarters of a block. All right, thanks. They do not want you here tomorrow when the airplane arrives. Who are they? The Germans. They plan to take the airstrip by surprise, kidnap the men. Their armored cars will rendezvous in the desert tonight. Where? The Wadi of El Jibur. About 40 miles. Take him to the guardhouse. Tell the major we'll have to take off. We'll be. 
be back in plenty of time. Roberts, thanks. It is good, Evandi. <laughs> My brother, he escaped. Oh, yeah. He got away. Alhamdulillah. Good, good. Hassan! <laughs> Don't you want your knife? Morning, Sergeant. Ready? I was just giving the room a last-minute check personally. Oh, good. Everything in order? Clean as a whistle. Well, let's get cracking. Planes due at 0900. Yes, sir. If they were out here, we'd have found them. Last night or this morning, we'd have found some trace of them. Troy, it's after seven. Take us over an hour to get back to town. Somebody wanted us out here. They must be going to hidden town. Then we can't hold radio silence any longer. No, let's go. Break radio silence! Give me Major Ace! Red Dog, this is Black Fox. Red Dog, this is Black Fox, over. Red Dog, this is Black Fox. Red Dog, this is Black Fox, over. Red Dog, this is... It's dead. Try ours. Red Dog, come in, Red Dog. Red Dog, come in, Red Dog. This is Black Fox. Come in. Red Dog, come in, Red Dog. This is Black Fox. Nothing. Sarge, the wire's been cut. The Arab? No, he was under guard. There was no one else there except... Except Roberts. You could have done it while I was out rounding you guys up. I don't think so, Troy. Nevada. What? Skip it. All right, let's move out.
all right, sir? Yes, I'm fine. Sergeant Roberts, you all right? Yes, sir. Thanks. Forget it, sir. Find out who he is. Yes, sir. Let's go. Just missed him. He left with Sergeant Roberts to go to the airstrip. When? Couldn't have been more than 20 minutes ago. What do you think? I'm not sure. Hitch, find the air and get him back here as soon as you can. Right, Sarge. to change course because of enemy aerial activity. The ETA is now 0950. What's going on here, Sergeant? We were sent on a wild goose chase. What's that got to do with Roberts? He set us up for it. You're bowling in the wrong alley, Sergeant. No, Sergeant. You're skiing in the wrong state. Meaning what? Meaning Sun Valley. It's not Nevada. It's in Idaho. All right. What does that mean? Major, someone's trying to get to your VIPs. I think it's Roberts. Well, if Roberts were your man, it's a little late, isn't it? Not if he planted a bomb. And just where do you think that would be, Sergeant Troy? Major, I don't know. Maybe the square, the hallway, the staircase, the conference room. You really ought to see somebody about your fantasies, Sergeant. Major, I don't... Sergeant, put that gun away. You've been trying to sabotage this meeting ever since you got here. I don't know why, but I'm going to find out. Sir, the plane's in the pattern. The pilot wants you on the radio. Sergeant. You can make it a lot easier on us, Roberts, if you tell us where it is. Well, what is? The bomb, Roberts. Sergeant, has it ever occurred to you that maybe you're wrong, maybe I'm not a spy and there is no bomb? Well, in that case, you haven't got anything to worry about. But on the other hand, if it is here, you can be right on top of it when it goes off. Sarge. Did you find the Arab? Yeah, I found him. In back of the motor pool in an alley with a knife in his gut. Maybe he escaped from the guardhouse. He never got there. I checked. All right, Hitch. Get outside and clear out the area in all directions. And keep those staff cars away. Getting 
warm, Roberts? You need a light? Already checked it. Well, check it again. It's got to be there. Troy, we haven't any time. Tully, what were you doing when Roberts made a break? Nothing. I was just going to turn on the light. The light! Sergeant, he sure had me fooled. Not the only one. What have you got to say, Roberts? With a little luck, I would have made it. That what you call it, luck? What would you call it? A sergeant disobeys a major's orders, and because of his insubordination, I'm caught. In Germany, he'd be shot. You'll probably pin a medal on him. No. Just give him another chance to be insubordinate. And that's why you'll lose, because your soldiers don't know how to obey orders. We'll win, because our soldiers know how to use their heads. All right, get him out of here. I've got to hand it to you, Sergeant. You certainly cleared the air. Well, we try our best, sir. Good luck. Thank you, sir. 